Hi, this is Bob Clark, the Executive Director of Syndicate. Here we are, teachers and students at a typical Syndicate workshop. From 7 to 9 p.m. each Wednesday, we spend an exciting evening together working creating radio and television programs. We challenge each other, adults and teenagers alike, to be as imaginative and creative as possible and work toward mastery of both performing and technical skills. That means either working the equipment or being the actors. Sure, it's hard work. Getting to be expert at anything takes time and energy. But at Cinekid, we have fun because we all enjoy the challenge of creating our own radio and television shows. Real Cinekid Productions. We'd like to take you behind the scenes by letting you view some of the videotape made at a recent actor's workshop. These aren't finished scenes, in fact, they're not even formal rehearsals, they're practices where our teenage syndicate actors work to become effective performers. What's wrong? You don't sound very happy. When are we leaving? We've been in here for hours and I'm sick and tired of being in here. We'll leave as soon as we finish touring the cave, okay? How long will that take? We've been in here for hours. I don't know. Let's finish and sing. Shut up, okay? You are getting me so mad. Why can't you just shut up? We're trying to do stuff here. Just chill out, okay? Yeah. It's okay. Just, just give it a chance. It's okay. Man. What's wrong? Is there anything I hate more? It's the nerd that just passes me. Well, that's not very nice to call the nerd. Goodness. Why don't you call me the job better? Uh, and you, you're just a little fluff head. <laughs> Do anything. It's okay, Sydney. It's okay. Just calm down, okay? Listen, God. Don't worry about it, okay? Okay? I'm fine. Well, what set you off? Good. One more time out of you. Okay, cut. Very nice. Very good. Okay. Good. Good. Five, four, three, two. You will notice that 33% of the cave is made out of limestone. Look, when are we gonna leave, leave here? We've been here for hours and I'm tired and I wanna leave. Well, listen, we'll do it as soon as we're done the cave, okay? But okay. we've been look, here look, forever. Look. But look at see if you know, we stop, have stop, stop. Hold on. One thing, uh, Blair. Five, four, three, two. So you'll notice that 33% of this cave is made out of limestone. When are we gonna leave? My feet hurt. Well, we'll leave in a minute, okay? Look in. Oh, but I'm tired. Well, as soon as we finish viewing the cave, we'll leave, okay? But I'm hungry. Shut we up! Okay? Just shut up! I can't stand oh, anymore in this room. at me. You said no need to yell at me. It's okay, so get off of me. Down. You don't do your job but either. You're just so Started the form. Yeah, they so notice the little mound if you run your foot over it there. Oh, yeah. 
Well, that would have to be over 1,700 years old, judging yeah. by the distance. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, um, Professor Fitz. That's all right. Uh, excuse me. Uh, wasn't there one more? Oh, yeah, that little... What's that little... I'll get them on there. I'll get them. No. Well, okay, anyway. anyway. This yeah. This is Notice really... here, we can tell the age of the cave by dating it, by taking a sample. And seeing of course. The carbon, carbon 12. Exactly. I read it in my archaeology book. You following along here? Yeah. Right? So you take a sample. And each layer. You don't this? Do you know exactly how Not, not, is? not with these caves yet. Oh, he's here. Uh, Mr. Yeah, Melvin. Mr. Melvin. Melvin. Look at These are stalactites, okay? The limestone comes to the end, it dries up there. Yeah, you see the molecular structure. We get on, I mean, thousands of years. And a couple thousand years from okay, now, okay. you see the same thing on the floor, but inverted. Stalagmites. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can tell the age of the caves from carbon-12 dating. You just know this. He's a little yet. nerd. Got it? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Okay. Cut. Cut. Okay. No mic rattle, no camera movement. What I want you to try to do is to get something in the shot that we can use this week. Quiet on set, please. Roll decks. Rolling. Five. Four, three, two. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. These are, you know what these are? Stalagmites. Stalactites. Stalactites, right. Okay. Now they're formed by a substance dripping to the tip of it. Anybody know what it is? Limestone. Limestone. All right. Of course. Dries there. After thousands of years, you get a formation something like this. It's pretty. Now, before they dry, it drips down to the floor. And, it, and then you get to the I'm sorry to interrupt. Did you see Melvin? Yeah, he was. He was somewhere. Yeah. Find out where he is. Yeah. yeah that As works. you were saying. So it drips down to the floor, okay? And it, and it forms. Stalagmites. Stalagmites. Types. Stalagmites. Stalagmites. Stalagmites are the exact same thing, except coming up from the floor. Obvious. Yeah. Right? With us, stalactites, stalagmites, understand? They're formed by limestone, okay? Yeah. All right. Now, we can tell the age. Uh, excuse me. All right. Yes. We can tell the age. Does anybody know how we can tell the age of carbon 12? Carbon 12. All right. Each layer of the cave has a different age. It yeah. builds excuse up. Me, sir. Oh. It builds up. Yeah. Over thousands of years. As you were saying. So we take a little sample of each layer and find out how old it is. Come on, I want to find out something I, I don't know. Oh, great. Yeah, as, we, as you were saying. Yeah. As I was saying. Okay. Now we haven't taken the samples here yet. Okay, cut. Very good. All right, that was about as far. Five, four, three, two. Are you okay now, Sydney? Yeah, I'll hear you. Oh, it's the south. Well, okay. Just here. Turn just turn out to the okay. okay. Okay, sometimes in here you will find uh, underground rivers. Okay. okay. All right, and, and oh, you see them here and you don't know. Her Professor Bedford and this is Doug and this is Susan right. and Fred. Fred and Sydney. Professor Parsons and... Hi. Uh, I'm Carl Turner. Hi. Hi. Professor Bedford. I'm here. Sydney was yelling. You were the one yelling? Uh, yeah. Come here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you keep it up. You okay, cut. Good. Let's do it again. Two, four, three, two. Okay. Ah. Who is the one yelling? Oh. Professor Bedford, Sydney was yelling. Uh, no, I knew it. You keep it up. I'm going to leave you here. So, what are you guys up to? Uh, we're just looking. Uh, like formation. Oh, it's a detailed robbery. Where's Clay? We have to yeah, go. Just calm down. We'll be leaving. Okay, shut up. Okay. 
second summer at Cinecade. The hardest part about being a videographer is being able to perform well under pressure. My name is Chris Maceres. I'm 15 and I've been at Cinecade for a year. And I think the hardest part of being a videographer is there's not like an easy part and a hard part that it's all the same, it's all tough and you have to be, you know, ready to do this and do that and it's all hard. My name is Tim Bancroft and my age is 17. And the hardest part being a videographer is, um, oh, the cameras never walk away. I think that's the problem. I mean, some of them are burnt out, some of them are pretty messed up. I think we should buy new ones. My name is Tom Miguel. I am 17 years old. And the hardest part about videography is just when it's a pressure day and none of the equipment works. My name is Amy Bankle and I'm 18 years old. And I think the hardest part about being a videographer is when you're working camera and you have to wear this like headset so that the people up in the control room can communicate with you down in the studio. Except sometimes the people in the control room on the other end of the headset start making jokes or making comments that go along with the scene. And you have to try really hard to be serious and you can't laugh, otherwise you'll get yelled at for making noise and stuff. And it's just really hard to concentrate on what you're doing when they're making jokes. And also, um, there's a lot of pressure behind videography because um, the video is the most important part, I think. And it has to look good, so to make it good, you have to be good. What are you 
doing in here? I'm a new worker. I was looking for my work. What's your name? Susie. Susie Gatchers. Susie Gatchers, no. I've heard of you. But you can't just barge in here, mess up people's room. I here, pick it out. Look, look, you messed this all up. Look at this. Oh. And, and this very important file you, you, you put over there, and it's supposed to put on my desk. Now, what else over here did you mess up? Come on. No. Hey, where's my very important file? I didn't see any file. I did. What have you got behind your back? Nothing. You took my file. I didn't. Yes, you did. How can you accuse me of taking a file? I you knew that. Yeah, I don't even know what the file You is. did. You're the only one in this room. I did not see a file on your desk. Well, I did. And I bet if I had turned around, I would have seen you taking it. Now, where is it? I did take your file. You did so. Now, what's behind your back? There's nothing behind your back. Yes, there is. There is. There is. What are you doing here? Well, I have to rewire everything, put new pipes in. You don't have any hot water. You don't have you, any electric. You, you can't touch the building. You pay for it. Yeah, well, I mean, if we're all around a computer club here, we need electric to run the computers well, I think and everything. Pushing the computers back in because I thought. Listen, and we also need hot water. And you can't touch your building. I mean, you got your bought Listen, your person. wires are all you know. Your wires are all mixed up and everything. What? The pipes. We don't have any hot water. I have to rewire everything and put new pipes in. I, I'm going to rewire everything. We have to rewire everything. Where did the toolbox go? I didn't take your toolbox. You took the toolbox. Hey. I put the toolbox right there. Hey, mister, I didn't take no toolbox. I was sitting here talking The toolbox to you. is right there. Where'd I, you put it? I didn't take your toolbox. Well, it was right there. Well, you two must have took it. You took the toolbox. Was, I didn't take the toolbox. It was right there. Here. Well, I did. You did the toolbox. Listen, all I wanted to do was fix you it. The toolbox the is right there. Uh, you took the toolbox. Took the tool I did not take the toolbox. I didn't take the toolbox. I didn't take the toolbox. I got it. Come on. I got it. No, I got all it. All right, you got it. Hey, guys, what you doing? Um, 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 we're uh, programming computers. Yeah. I'm on programming computers. Oh, can I see? Uh, um, it still has a few bugs in it. Uh-huh. Yeah, bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. 
emotion, where the boy can relate. 